in this episode we will talk about late game. In late game, the, the game itself becomes very different because all the heroes start hitting like high levels, like 20s and even 25s if you really farm as a carry or mid laner. <clears throat> and at this point of the game, uh, the respawn timers on heroes start to be very, very long and um, heroes start to be so strong that they can start hitting high ground very easily, they can get rolls on really fast and uh, overall heroes just uh, push waves and everything is just faster, like it just happens faster and people are more looking to this uh, kill, kill others and like make plays on the map so so in late game dying is usually very uh, very bad because you might end up losing lane of racks or worst case even losing the game just by one hero if as a mid laner sometimes if you die without buyback late game the game can just end because of that like your team four versus five they cannot defend their push and you just end up losing so in these situations you have to be very careful with your positioning and always reading the map and uh, taking as little risk as you have to like some games you have to take risk like you don't see a way of for you to win the game unless you for example go on this guy on this day and when he's showing alone and uh, you feel like the game is you have this timing that you have to start using now or eventually this game will kind of fall apart for you your team because you might have a worse lineup as late as the more later the game goes so in these cases you have to evaluate the risk and the reward and some cases uh, you just have to take the risk and hopefully it works but but overall uh, late game you have to be way more careful with your positioning and the way you read the map you have to be more careful and just think more about where the enemies could be at, at a given time and and then always of course if you see openings yourself be like willing to take those and always always going for them and then just uh, if you get a kill, never just go and back and farming because in late game, once you get a kill, you should really use that to either get Roshan, get a tower, or best case, get a Rax or win the game even. So yeah, in late game, it's very important to be on the same page and doing things as a, as a unit. Uh, because uh, like sometimes you have to split on the map because that's how Dota is. Like the waves might be pushing you, they are behind and they need to split push and push the waves. So, even though you're splitting on the lanes, you playing as one unit, you as a team uh, communicate and identify that the way we play this game is that we have to show on two lanes at a time. So then you make this uh, like two heroes at one lane, three heroes at other, and you like try to play it, play it as safe as you can while also looking for catching them while they are split pushing. A lot of these games, like when enemies are split pushing a lot, Moving as one unit, just as a five, can be very bad for a team because that's you're playing in their hands. They're showing on all three lanes. They're playing really cocky and uh, uh, they're taking risks, and they will get more out of the map in in that way. So you have to either answer it by going as a five, just pushing through one lane and going high ground, or if that's not possible, then you just need to start making small groups and start ganking them on the lanes and making plays happen. I mean, late game, you usually you wanna like as a team. As a team, you wanna think about like what is your win condition this game. Like uh, most games, it's gonna be the carry playing whatever he's playing, Specter, Jugger, Slark. He's gonna be the main dude of the of the game, and you're gonna enable him. But some games, um, you're playing it from the mid lane. Um, it could be Invoker even. It could be some TA or morphing and in these games um, uh, you're gonna be the strongest voice in the team and you need to use your voice to uh, help your team like understand what is the unit for to win the game because you're gonna be the win condition and people need to know what you're looking to do in the game I mean it's very important that you communicate to your team that you are very high priority on the team so everybody has to look at you and make sure that you don't get caught or they don't gank you and uh, kill you for free and yeah then it's just about uh, late game is a lot about objectives and when do you feel strong enough to hit an objective like oh, I want to just hit this high ground right now just stay behind me 
game position to ready for the fight. And things like this, you just have to communicate with the team, be on the same page. And a big thing in late game is the Roshan. Like getting Aegis on heroes can be very game breaking because well then you can just for free hit high ground. You have the Aegis to back things up on, like if they go on you, you just counter initiate and with the extra life usually you, you should be able to win those fights. So in late game you always wanna assign like your roles for every player. Every player has their own role late in late game. Like you, you're gonna need like sometimes you're gonna have an Oracle, then it's very specific how you play. The Oracle far back, then you have one guy in front. The Oracle is always gonna be there to save the, the one guy in front. So you can siege high ground with, like that. And it's very easy to like you just have a, as a team you just have to um, communicate about this. Like how do you wanna approach it? And that's just like things become very easy when you uh, as a team identify like how do we approach the fight how do we approach if they go on us another example is the vengeful spirit say i'm playing wench carry or wench mid and then i want to hit the high ground and and then it's just like about uh first of all my hero i respawn after i die i have the illusion so dying isn't the worst thing and then i have the swap i can swap out play and yeah, it's just like thinking about who is the guy who has to be in front, who is the guy who's supposed to hit the tower, and do you have people who can back you up to save you if they go on you, and how do you counter initiate in case a fight happens? And you always have to communicate that with your team. So here in this game, I'm playing the gyrocopter, and we're approaching the late game. It's already 34, 34 minutes into the game. Every hero starts to be very high level, uh, like around 20. I'm 25 already, but everybody has, all the cores have a lot of items, this guy has a lot of items, I have a lot of items. And at this point of the game, the game starts to be more, it's more, more of a team game. It's less like, you can, there's less room for error, there's less room for making solo plays, and it's just more, you want to be more safe, and it's just about uh, team fight coordination and uh, playing team fights properly. This game, my role in the team is just uh, I'm the I'm the main carry of the of the game, so I have a really big role uh, because if I don't if I don't uh, communicate with my team how I wanna play the game, it might be very awkward because they might take fights without me, and then it's it's very hard for them to fight without me. Basically here also you can see they're just running at us. I'm not there, so our team cannot really help. Uh, cannot really fight into them at all. So my plan is to get into like a, a critical mass that at some point my hero will become very unkillable. If I just get enough items, I will be the I will be the carrier of the like. If people just look at me, I can just frontline for us, and I will be able to see its high ground and just win the game. The way we're playing the map is very careful. We are playing on one side. There's one guy who's giving information that what they're doing. And we saw them top just now. So um, I'm just trying to be careful with my positioning. And as a team, we don't want to uh, split up too much. For example, here, we're quite split. And they get the go on us. Here I get a DD rune, and yeah, this ends up, being, ends up being a team fight, and they get the egg off, but at this point already I'm very strong, as you can see, they, me being in the front, and they have no answer, they have no way to deal with me. Like when there's two heroes dead, it's a bit, you can be a bit more greedy how you position, I mean I missed that here, being too greedy, and it cost me my life. Even though two heroes of them are dead, you still have to be careful how you position in the in the map. I mean, at this point, Roshan is spawned. Now it's all eyes on the Rosh. I'm dead for 30 seconds. We probably have to give up the Roshan for them. So here, the fight keeps going, and I mean, I, I my hero, I realize it's not strong enough yet. Like the Fury, he can just uh, tank everything I'm doing, and I realize that our lineup is kind of falling apart in a way that we don't have we don't have enough damage output and they're just uh, coming ahead in the fights. So 
So I tell my teammates I'm going for Divine Rapier, just wait for my Rapier and then we take a fight with that and we probably gonna win the game. We let them take rows, we have two heroes dead. We don't think it's a, I don't think it's a good risk to go for the Rows fight. Here I just communicate, I have Divine Rapier, I'm very strong right now and I just wanna fight. And so we, we're very safe, we wait for everybody to respawn, don't die anywhere for now and then just Go for a play. And this guy, my team has to look at me, like no matter what happens, they have to make sure that I get to hit the enemies and um, just uh, make sure I stay alive. So as you can see, like, my hero is too strong for them at this point and then it's just about my team enabling me to let me hit them. And just from being a hard game, suddenly you uh, communicate to your team that I want this one item and after that we can fight them no matter what. And then you just make it happen as a team, don't stress out too much about rows or anything, just make it happen and then just execute the plan and the game turns out to be uh, easy because we just uh, made it happen as a team. In late game it's very crucial how you position yourself and how do you uh, communicate as a team and you have to identify what is the win condition for you and you always have to keep that in mind so you don't end up playing the late game and you are kind of lost like what is it that you're supposed to do you always have to have a clear, clear plan of what is it that our lineup is supposed to do in the late game and all the heroes are supposed to have uh, their own roles and you have to identify it with your team that what is it that your hero needs to do in this late game.